will use these dies from honeybee and if you watch my unboxing video I bought them a little bit time before and they come with all these dies so my paper got stuck I think here okay so what I did I just went ahead and just watercolor these and then I spritz it with the hero arts shimmer mist not much it's just a kind of a little bit of mist and uh, then I dark it out all of them so now here you can see if you see the reference page you can see that there are like some of the green and different different shades to get the flower 3d look but what I did I just cut out most of the times in the pink one and the, for the yellow uh, shade I go with the um, the leaves so I cut out bunch of them like you can see this is the um, <clears throat> Uh, leaf one but I cut out in a the shape and now we're gonna assemble them and create a card out of it so let's start it and what we will do we're gonna color these I'll put this reference here and we will color the stuff with the watercolor pen and if I feel that I need more, more water um, like more color in that so then at that moment what i'll do i'll do just the add maybe the another markers on them or i will add the real watercolor on them so basically i'm planning to use my z clean color marker today and you can see that already they are looking so good like oh my gosh they are such a cute and they have this small small stuff also which is kind of going for the this thing here this thing here so you can match that stuff together and <clears throat> they have two buds like the bigger flower and the smaller flower and for the smaller one you can have this so what we will do and I'm planning to use a big uh, stamp I have um, from the Simonses um, but we'll do that later first we'll focus on not on the background first we'll focus on the like our card placement and it is very easy that you can you have to just place these bottoms together and you will get the look and it's very easy to assemble uh, first of all like you may think that it is kind of getting tricky or something like that but I really like how easy that to assemble I even can't imagine <laughs> how easy yeah so uh, you have to put the just all this stuff together and for the smaller one they also have some layers in fact for inside also we will get some layers there but this one and you can go to their site and you can you know um, just do the search or you can scan this and you will get that what you are making um, and you will good to go so now we have do it everything together so first of all we will um, do these leaves so I gonna put these leaves just and this small stuff uh, where I put those small stuff okay so first of all we will um, do the leaves and for that I'm grabbing the shades of the green uh, and some vibrant yellow also to just you know get more thing here and then I will always put some rough paper here to see the color like I choose this darker shade this is the darkest one and I will put them like okay I don't want this one this is a little bit vibrant I put it aside and then I will see okay this will okay and then I gonna put this shade so I will put these two together these vibrant yellow together and then I also have two more shades of green and I just want to see that how they go together so I think um, 
I'm kind of matching it. So this and this, like this shade of green and this shade of green goes together. And then this is the darkest one. So I'm going to put it for highlighting. Okay, so I'll put it there. And then you can see this shade of green. It's the darkest one and this. It's kind of going together. This is the lighter one. So I'm going to start with this shade of green here. And you have to see that when you're going to put this flower, the middle area you will not see. I'll just zoom it a little bit now. So middle area you will not see. So first of all, what will I do? I'll just try to put my colors in those um, lines, which is it get here. I'm not much concerned about the coloring because I decided that I'll add more colors to get a more variety on this petal so most of the parts it gonna we can't see that part so don't work much on the <clears throat> inside petal and this is also the green and I will go just like little bit here and now the zig color markers having their blending uh, blending uh, thing also which is called a blending brush and it is look like the same if you don't have that you can use your watercolor um watercolor brush also and again one more thing if you don't want to use your watercolor brush you can use this winkazella pen make sure that it's one is the clear so you will get that shimmer and if you don't want to use any of these like you want to more control on the water you can just use the normal paint brush we use like I am doing here and then just grab little bit of water to you know mix these colors so you will get little bit of um, mixing here although you can't mix it fully cause of these uh, um, what do you say this is the lines the embossed lines here but what they're gonna do now they will give you a nice uh, beautiful effect on it I'll use the flat brush to just mix it and now you can see that already it is looking so beautiful like we don't have to do much it is the easiest way of coloring I think I'm just taking some water drop putting on my wet uh, brush here you can use the any brush you have just grab the brush I just put this one because I thought it's a good one and then what here it will do like we have to put this flower something like this so you have to see that which portion is going here you want to put like this okay so this portion will look more so then you can add more dense colors now here I am choosing the darkest before choosing the darkest one I will go with the second darkest one here and this is the, I think the darkest one and I'm kind of putting this you know the lines here and as the little bit of water already on the paper it is gonna get kind of weight on weight technique um, effects on it and you can see that 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 lines the veins of this card goes on the middle and it is kind of creating that um, very look as well as it is catching that shimmer which is i already put on the paper uh, you can shimmer it afterwards also after you coloring if you want to i just create bunch of these watercolor papers for another project also so that you know i have pretty much handy i colored them you know very much different different colors if you don't want to color them in um, yellow for particularly for this one you can use the greens also here but the basic idea of this thing is like how um, you can get look now I'm using here um, this little bit of different shade to get just little bit of that color and I was making sure that I will color the last most parts like these parts these parts so that I, I gonna get like the very good and nice um, coloring there I don't want that any white portion uh, should like see and if you are like you don't want to go with the 
color you can just grab any of your distress ink uh, cubes i think i should choose this one i chose the mauve lawn i think yeah mauve lawn will be good and then you can just you know add that so that you will not see any um white corners there you will get a nice look there right you can if you want you can use these techniques to add colors also like i'll show you here like you can just go but in this techniques you will get a more rusty look uh we want a more kind of um uh look that is kind of realistic it's not gonna look very real but still it's kind of and now you can see the way i put the water so this is the water i'm just dipping my brush in the water and then i just pulling that color towards the center and you can see that how it is mixing and how it is creating that layer uh, i can speed up this process but i just don't want to speed up this process that why that's why i do all the die cutting before so that uh, you can see um, more that how i'm doing this effect here then i'll again put these colors and kind of i'm putting the kind of spreading it's kind of veins and kind of doing that and then again i'll go back and forth with the water to get more that effect and this is the watercolor paper i'm using here artisa watercolor paper you can use canson just make sure that your watercolor paper is uh, having nice um, nice grips like you know they should take that sustainable waters in that and you can create your own little bit veins also here just like i am doing to get more kind of stuff and for this part this this is the kind of part where you're gonna stick the bud of that um, water lily or lotus whatever you say and i'm kind of obsessed about this um i don't know i love the water lilies and i draw them many times although i didn't share any video about them but um it is kind of um we have that kind of in india also it's kind of a spiritual uh, thing about those water lily it is kind of the sacred flower and god holding these flowers but i don't know i, I love all kind of watercolors uh, lilies like uh, in personal i saw the pink one i saw the purple i saw the white and the light purple um i never get a chance to see the that darkish crimson red one but maybe one day i will and then um you can see that now um, you have to make sure that you know these are little bit delicate now because we put more water in that so you have to see that they will be like putting there properly okay now which zig colors i use um so i use the re okay so i will tell you it is me green zero four seven then i use the uh green zero four zero and i use little bit of this this is called deep green so i will put down the i have a big set of 60 colors but i'll take a snapshot of it or something like that and i will put down those colors so that you can use the same colors if you want now we will move and jump into our uh, this portion now you can see um you will get a different different kind of um you know ideas of using this um if you saw on the honeybees blog or when the blog hop happened um sometimes i don't want to see anything because i don't want to copy but if you want to you can see here they put these darkest colors in the background and lightest in the front darkest in the background and lightest in the front and why so they do that whenever color like light hits on any surface like this is the light is hitting on this side or this side so that gonna look a little bit um fader and the back side is more about a shadow and darker so that is the one thing uh, so we can use the same technique and we will choose so i want to just add uh, which color we should choose so let's go which color want flowers so this is i already go with the pinkish one so i will choose the shade of pink and i'll choose little bit of kind of crimson color here definitely i will share the which colors i'm using 
I will share those color. You can go ahead and do with the purples also. Uh, blues also blue blue is also a nice lotus and if you want to do it only with the white uh, the easiest way to do that is just shim, um, just uh, color your water paper very lightly like give a light wash to it and that will uh, give you the and then you can add just little bit of you know uh, these things and then you will see that so now I'm switching that which one is the close to it <laughs> and then this is the darkest one okay so I put always the darkest one on back side I don't want to go the first on darkest one this is this one is kind of more kind of orange to it which is I already did so if I want to do only the orange on the seats this is the I think kind of the nearest color I have and let's see if we have more shades of pink in this so it will be easier if you are doing the watercolor it, it it will be more easier so i'm just kind of so this is the pure red i don't want this one and this one is this kind of This is more fluorescent one. So make sure whenever you are choosing color, you test it before you want to. You don't want to ruin the project like I am doing here. So this is a kind of purplish one. This is dark pink color and this is the light pink I have. So I think I will start with the lighter one first. I am not much sure about that dark color. Let's see with the, this one. And or I can add orange also because it is having the yellow and orange uh, shades if I want is there any orange water lily I have to search for that and then I'm just putting this color the intense area like which is like kind of giving the embossing lines there and some of them I'm just putting on the outside like this like I'm kind of covering that area I'm not much concerned about the middle cause it will not show but still I want to go up till there so that to get a more finer nicer look I think that is the only thing I can say and then we'll again use our flat brush so here you can use the round brush also I'm just I just want to pull more color at the same time that's why I'm doing that and now you can see I'm not able to pull the color so I will just wet the paper again and then I'm gonna put a nice water on it like like really nice I'm gonna wet it paper really really fully and these gonna start it wetting warping so I'll just put this block here so that they will be straight and then I'll add this color so I'm very very conscious about adding this color so I'm just putting, you know, on those lines. It is kind of purplish pink, although it says the pink. It is kind of the purplish pink color. And this, I'm just putting these lines, kind of veins, kind of thing. So that, you know, it's kind of looking good or something more... Uh, I will, I will not say that this is the one the realistic one but closer to the realistic one I can say and each time you color these layers I will suggest that you should go and put your uh, front layer on it so that you can see that how much you are seeing there is there any portion that you want to add more color is there anything that you can you know uh, put there so you will get an idea before sticking that and you will work as it goes and uh, work by work so what i will do i will just put the next layer this one is the next layer and i will see that how it is looking before that i need to add more water on it i'm just just pulling this color I'm using here angular flat brush but you don't have to I just grab it it is just on my desk I'm doing something else before that so yeah 
um, you can see that you if you like the vibrancy of the color or not or you want to put the more colors and then uh, this is the uh, next one so you can see that middle portion is not gonna seen this portion is it can be seen little bit if um, that if you are putting the foam dots in between to you know stick them together or if you are putting the glue it will not see if how much glue you are putting and in which direction you are putting that glue that really matters so here I'm just adding more color color and after that I will just speed up the process because there is nothing much to tell the main thing I want to share with you is I already shared but still I suggest you to go ahead and watch until the uh, last step of the video so that you will not miss anything and the same time you might be find something else better uh, that okay I can do this or I don't like this or something like that and we will make a background after we finish this uh, water lily so now it's time uh, to just put all the things together and for this uh, I'm just adding more and more color with the Winkazilla marker. Sometimes I add a more darker shade also of red rather than just going to pink to just give that kinds of vents. And um, you can't color your paper in a one color or one leaf of the lotus in a one color. When you put the strokes, you get that kind of grand grains, the lines of the thing and that will give you a more beautiful effect. Although these die cuts having some kind of embossed line in them, uh, that will also give uh, and you know enhance the more realistic look. Uh, but still, it's it's kind of awesome if you are coloring it uh, white. I said go ahead and use a little bit tinge of the yellow or purple, not more than that. And uh, if you want to create it purple basically you can go ahead and shades of the purple you can go ahead with the red and orange also uh, I like this color most and all the layering things are already given there uh, in the die set that L1 L2 L3 so you have to just combine those I'm just going uh, back and forth uh, while putting these colors because uh, you have to put the next layer and see that how much you can see uh, you can color the whole thing that is not the issue uh, but yeah, I, I'll suggest you to put every layer before st sticking that and see how it's gonna look Because sometimes you want to add more grains there Sometimes you want to add more different kind of a uh, shade of red or pink there So that will be the good idea to do that uh, If you are just going with the white uh, lotus, it will not uh, Took this much time to color them Because uh, you then just have to put some of the lines in that you can do that embossing lines only as your guide for doing that it took me a quite a while to color that but the process is so calming and satisfying it's kind of a mind relaxing thing for me and um, i speed up this process like maybe four times or three three and a half times yeah so that you know you you, you didn't get bored and video is not too long uh, but when I just complete that flower, I thought, why not? If you can create bunch of three or bunch of two, um, that is also fine. Um, but make sure that uh, <laughs> you need them that much time to color them. And uh, I really like it. Now, what you can do if you're not like me and you don't have that much patience, you can just create a layered cardstock effect with the colored cardstocks. You can take any set of pinks um, uh, like maybe in the spellbinders or MFT or find the colors. I mostly use the recollections and then you can take a pack and tinge and shades of the pink and then you can add or a purple and then you can just dye it out that with the help of that like first shade is darker, next shade is more uh, lighter than that or you can just go with the two shades or and uh, if you don't get all the shades but five six shades and for the next layer before you can add little bit of uh, color of the marker so that you will get a more darker effect there uh, so these are the small tricks you can do uh, 
um i would like love to do um this flower in the non realistic way also like with the glitter sheets or kind of specialty papers and i can use that also but this uh, flower size is quite a big one the bird is also came in that but flower size is so big that i can use that in the scrapbook layout or any kind of decorations at home so i really really like uh, this thing i'm kind of searching for a long time for this kind of thing and i really loved it and um, you can only use the bud or you can only use the flower or you can create a cluster of 3 or 5 also 5 will be too much uh, for the flower but buds yes you can do and then um, you can put them all together so for the background i choose couple of things but um, you can go ahead with the embossing Uh, folders also or stencils also the emboss embossing folder you can find something nice in the hero arts as well as the spell binders um they have that wavy thing kind of stuff and you can just mix match your product with these ones they also came with some kind of embossing folder and rope uh, folder with this adventure collection um, i mean honey bee and you can do that uh, this video is not sponsored i'm just kind of giving you all the mix and match you can do i use the my old stencils with the samuses uh, but what you can else you can use is i i can't find that stamp i have a big background stamp of samuses which is having kind of uh, circles like um, and it is so so good and i use a long time ago the fish card with that but i really love that stamp and i hit embossed it and then i do that so if you have anything like you can go ahead and hit emboss the thing and then you can just you know put the shades of blues on that and then you will get a beautiful watercolor effect with it and if you don't want to color as i told you before if you don't want to color i will show you the options at the last that you can use all those papers which is having the watercolor effects or which is having that um, inky effect uh, and uh, you can go ahead with that and you can go a uh, very very different kind of thing with going with the geometric papers also the gold foil paper also and uh, i'm when i put started putting this card i put like two of the backgrounds one is with the mft um, starter's background like the sparkling sun and another one is the um, simons's wavy background but then i thought <laughs> i can't stick it to there so i just put that flower on different different um, pattern sheet papers uh, so that you will get an idea that uh, you can choose uh, what else you can choose and you can choose whatever you want it's totally up to you but uh, i just want to show you those options and uh, i really like how it turned out after fully coloring most of the times i did that after coloring it i don't like those white things around so i just use the same uh, color to just you know color those edges all around cause that gives the nice effect to all over product if someone just tilt your card to see and another thing you can add at the last is kind of a shimmery spray on it or you can use your vincazella uh, clear z color markers on it also to get that kind of shine and special something this card don't need anything like it is like a focal point of this flower i didn't add any sentiment cause you can use this card for any occasion for anyone uh like maybe it's a masculine maybe it's a feminine you can give it to anyone so that i didn't um, add sometimes i didn't add the sentiments i just put them and whenever i needed the card i just grab these kind of cards and put the sentiments there um so it's kind of quick go for me and uh, another thing is uh these all these pattern papers i am showing you are uh, you can choose anything you want like i am just giving you the options but um, uh, creating your own background is a fun cause you are just you know created that uh, fully colored thing so creating background is kind of fun but still you can have this kind of like morning kind of theme with this or you can put the celebrate there or you can put the different shapes so see lots of options i'm giving here and uh, 
uh, this is not that you have to use the same exact paper I'm just giving you the options because sometimes you didn't get those exact papers uh, cause I bought them maybe way back or I bought them from Michaels or Amazon uh, but I really like the uh, Michaels talk always whenever I go I bought lots and lots of paper from them like six by six paper sheets or eight by eight or like the 12 by 12 big paper sheets also so here i'm just giving you the options and you can try uh, i hope uh, you had a fun and we can create something together and if you got inspired uh, please leave a comment don't forget to subscribe to my channel thanks for watching and sharing your time with me uh, for any queries or suggestion uh, please post them in the comment section i'll try to help as much as i can and um, i have scheduled my throat surgery i have some kind of problem in my throat so they have to remove the tonsil acids so maybe for some time i'm not able to upload the videos or uh, maybe if i'm able to do that after some time i'm not able to do the voice for for some time so um, i'll see you soon after i do that and i hope i'll get well soon so that i will not miss this chit chat with you as well as my videos uh, and until the next crafty project have a crafty life bye bye